More than half of all homes and businesses in Puerto Rico have been left without power, following the arrival of Storm Ernesto. The Caribbean island's main power supplier Luma Energy said some 998,000 customers did not have access to electricity, according to CBS News. Ernesto developed just days after Debbie finished its move along the U.S. East Coast, where it left at least eight people dead, including children, as a Category 1 hurricane turned tropical storm. A dangerous storm surge is expected to produce significant coastal flooding on Bermuda in areas of onshore winds. Near the coast, the surge will be accompanied by large and destructive waves, the National Hurricane Center said. Ernesto is expected to produce total rain accumulations of 4 to 8 inches in Bermuda with isolated maximum amounts up to 12 inches. This rainfall may result in considerable life-threatening flash flooding. Puerto Rico Governor Pedro Pierluisi said the power outages also left more than 200,000 homes and businesses without water. Earlier, President Joe Biden approved an emergency declaration for Puerto Rico, ordering the federal government to assist in local response efforts. Ahead of the storm, officials in Puerto Rico closed government offices, shuttered schools, activated the National Guard, and opened hundreds of shelters. Forecasters expect Ernesto to drift for a couple of days along the warm waters of the western Atlantic toward Bermuda before eventually developing into a major hurricane and remaining far east of the continental U.S.